Hello, uh, if you've ever developed a mobile game in Unity, you may have encountered this problem. So you're setting up your game, you're setting up your scene, and you have some game objects, you have some, uh, some balls, some icons, and they are all set up nicely within your scene, and then uh, you try to check a different resolution. So you switch from the, let's say, Nexus 5 to the Samsung S21, and let's see what happens. As you can see, this game object and this game object, which uh, in the previous resolution were really close to the edge, are now outside our view and we can't see them. So, so this really messes up our scene and we can check different resolutions, we can uh, check out the iPhone 8 resolution and as we can see our game objects are uh, still out of view and we can even check out a really weird resolution and uh, our icon even got cut off. So this is really annoying and uh, this problem is very hard to deal with, uh, it's not nice. You can try different solutions and I'll present them and then I'll present the solution that uh, worked for me. So the first thing you can try to do is uh, just take all of your game objects and put them in a really small rectangle in the middle of the view. And then when we switch resolutions, they are all still visible and they keep their ratio. And by ratio I mean uh, this object in relation to this object or this object are the same. For example, if we move this object here, the ratio has changed. And so we keep the ratio, all of the objects are visible, but the problem with this solution is that we don't use all of the screen, uh, as you can see. Uh, for example, in the Nexus 5, we have a lot of space here, and here, and here, and here, which is unused, and that's a shame. Another solution you can try is take your game objects and uh, try to fix them to position in relation to the screen. For example, you can take the green ball, and let's say we want it to be uh, in this part of the screen, so you can add a script. I'm not going to show this solution, as I find it uh, uh, to not suffice my needs, but you can try to put a script that uh, puts this game object at the top corner in relation to the screen and if the resolution changes you can make the uh, script change the position of your game object. Uh, this will work pretty fine but the problem is it will not always keep the original ratio you wanted your game objects to be. Uh, for example if you put this game object here and this game object here and, and this game object let's say right here and then if we change resolution we need to move them and now our ratio is different. This game object is closer to this game object or to this game object than we intended. So this solution uh, also does not suffice. And so what can we do? So the solution that I used is a fit to screen workground and we will see this right now. So first let's disable the current game objects and let's check out the same game object laid in the same manner but inside a fit to screen workground. And so what is it and how does it work? The workground is simply just a rectangle, a grey rectangle. Uh, it doesn't even have to be grey. We don't really need this as flat renderer. It will just help us understand what's going on visually. So uh, we have this rectangle. We have our game object, the same game objects inside it. And uh, let's check out what happens when we press play. And as you can see, uh, the rectangle, the workground, I chose the word the word uh, workground because I'm not very good at English and I didn't find another word. You can suggest a new name in the comments. So the workground, uh, if we jump, will fit exactly our view um, in the world space and still keep the ratio. Now let's check out a different ratio, let's check out a different resolution. For example, the Samsung S21 and press play. And as you can see, the workground now uh, takes up the most space it can while keeping the, the ratio uh, of our game objects. This is great because this is uh, the best we can do to still keep the ratio of our game objects while using the most space we can. And let's check out how it works in different resolutions, for example the really thin resolution, and we press play, and it still take up, takes up the most space it can and while keeping a ratio. We can even check non-mobile resolutions, for example this one, the WXDA, and as you can see now it uses all of the height, but it doesn't use all of the width because that will change the uh, ratio. So how do you use it? Um, let's switch back to the Nexus 5 and check it out. So uh, the fit to screen workground is composed of uh, a game object, this game object, uh, under which you put all of your other game objects, and uh, it's composed of a script, the fit to workground, fit workground to camera script. And this script does all of the magic, but uh, it, it works together with the scale. So how it works is you define your game object, and then you define the scale you want your screen to be. For example, I chose 900 by 1600 because it's a popular um, ratio that I use, but you can change it. First take all of your game objects out, and let's change it for example for 600 by 900, and, and let's change the position of the game objects within it. Let's put this here and this here, and now they're all nicely within our 
walk uh, ground let's put them back under it as children and when we press play as you can see it still takes up as much space as possible while keeping the ratio so this is how you use the free to screen walk ground now we're going to dive into the script itself which will be in the description below and see how it works you don't have to watch this part to use the script but it's nice to understand how it works and it will help you understand the script in case you'd want to edit it or change it so first we take the camera and we find it using find game object with tag and, and then we put the position of the walk ground to be the, exactly the same as the camera so it will be in the middle of the screen and then we find the bottom left corner of the view inside world view what i mean by that is we find this point in world view and we do it um, pretty simply using a viewport to world point with the uh, vector zero and uh, multiplied by 100 then we do the same to the top right corner using the camera rectangle and um, which will give us this point in world view uh, and when we have these two points we can find the screen size in the uh, in world coordinates uh, which will be the top right corner minus the bottom left corner and lastly, we will get the screen ratio, which is, which is the screen width uh, divided by its height. And then we will get the desired ratio. The desired ratio is taken from the game object, from the world ground, uh, using the scale we defined earlier. So it takes the uh, x of the scale and the y of the scale, the width and the height, you can uh, call them. And then we get the desired ratio. And now we simply check if the screen ratio is larger than our ratio. Uh, it means we can take up all of the height uh, while compromising on the width. And uh, otherwise, we can take up all of the width while compromising on the height. And pretty much that's it. That's all of the script. And you just attach it to your uh, walk around game object, and uh, it works whenever you press play. You can change it however you want. You can uh, maybe you want your walk around to take up only a part of the screen. Maybe you want it to be here. Maybe you want it to be in the middle and not uh, take up all of the screen. And you can do it by changing uh, these values and uh, these values. You can play with the script, I'm sure you'll uh, find it easy to use and edit. And lastly, if you have any questions uh, or problems with it, you are more than welcome to comment below and I'll try to help you. And uh, that's it, I hope this helped you and I hope uh, you will use it in your mobile game to uh, fit your screen to all resolutions. Um, good luck 